Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, this is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing, I really appreciate your love and support, in this reading, for those of you single and looking, we are going to find out who will you be in your next seri serious relationship with, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you, alright spirits and angels, please show me who will Leo, Aries and Sagittarius be in your next serious relationship with, that's a little bit of a tongue twister. Show me more. Oh, whew. we've got the moon here at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> okay, uh, for some of you, maybe you've already met this person, yeah. And for some of you, if you haven't met this person yet, there could be a delay because all these cards here are in reverse. So there could be a bit of a delay before you meet this person or get into uh, a serious relationship with this person and if you already met this person for some of you this may be someone you are currently thinking about because we've got the nine of swords here you may be uh, stressing out in regards to this person you may have turned your back made a choice turning your back on this person and the strength card here is in reverse and a hangman here and a justice in reverse for me, this may be an indication of perhaps your connection with this person. If you already know, I'm going to start off with those who already know this person, if that's the case. That means uh, somebody is going to swallow their pride, see things in a different perspective, that perhaps they may have treated you unfairly or that it could go vice versa. And then eventually making a choice to reconcile Ten of Cups. Maybe for some of you, a reconciliation from somebody you may have known already. Uh, may already be in a relationship with could be going through some issues or again could be separated um, the reconciliation is going to be your next serious relationship that's for like 50% of you okay another 50% of you if this is not somebody you already know if this is somebody completely new two of wands here in my verse I definitely sense this is somebody who thinks a lot and they may have some anxiety insomnia Mm, I feel like with the strength here in love first, when both of you meet each other, they they could be in a very vulnerable place, okay? They may be going through a separation themselves with the justice in love first, or that they may be going through a divorce. But I'm so glad to see the Ten of Cups here. So I think all of that is going to be in the past. And the lovers here in love first indicates a choice and a Ten of Cups here. And uh, it also can be an indication of a choice. So I feel like um, if there's somebody you don't know at all, but I feel like the moment you see this person or know this person, you already know this is the one you want to spend the rest of your life with, with the Ten of Cups here. But also for some of you, you may already know this person and that you knew it right along, that this is the one for you that you're going to be spending the rest of your life with. But let's see more. A little bit complica uh, complicated here, <laughs> these cards, but, um, hmm. Also got the moon. The moon may be an indication of maybe this person can be quite mysterious, okay? Uh, or that, again, they could be going through some issues. They may have some insecurities or some fear, or that they may be stressing out in regards to work, three of pentacles here. Um, hmm. They may be going through some financial issues as well with the page of pentacles and love first. And that you might help them, Three of Pentacles, you might help them money-wise or help them with their job or find a job. That's just for some of you. Again, it's very, very specific. Um, if this is somebody you don't know, but then you, you haven't met yet. But for some of you, maybe you have already met this person, right? Three of Pentacles can indicate, again, this is another card of reconciliation. Perhaps the moon here may be also be an indication of perhaps right now things are kind of uncertain between you and your person this person there may be some confusion but the confusion is going to end because the seven cups here is already in reverse that means somebody no longer is going to be confused and will choose to be in a relationship with you or you with them okay we've got the tower here and also we've got the ace of wands in reverse some of you maybe you do have a history with this person and that could have been an ending or something that was very shocking something may have happened already in the past but i feel like it's going to be a reconciliation and maybe both of you will get married eventually ten of cups it's a happily ever after card but it feels like that could be one separation 
uh, first and then get back together and then that will eventually be uh, a serious relationship that could lead to again uh, happily ever after ending happy ending <laughs> let's see more leo aries sag on the other hand maybe this person if you don't know this person yet maybe they could be the, uh, a divorce a divorcee for once in reverse uh, maybe they have a family they were married before or that they were in a very serious relationship for a long period of time and we've got the five of wands here in love first and the devil i feel like with the five of wands in reverse can be an indication of um ending of a conflict right uh, or somebody making a choice if especially for those of you if this is a third party situation if there's somebody else in the picture or if there will be somebody else in the picture um your person is going to choose you or or vice versa okay or that you're going to choose your this person whom you're going to get into a serious relationship with yeah it could turn into a marriage some of you may be going to a counseling as well marriage counseling before you actually get married or it could be during as well um we've got the devil here so this person may seem very tempting okay i don't know i'm just sensing this person could be somebody who needs work okay um they may have a lot of issues baggages from the past perhaps could be emotional issues most likely emotional issues something that may have happened to them in the past with the tower here but i don't see it as such a big problem because i feel like both of you are going to meet in the middle both of you are going to compromise and work things out eventually so I'm just happy to see the Ten of Cups as the last card. So despite all of the messiness or all of the drama or something like confusion, the moon here, somebody feeling insecure, unsure, I feel like all of that is going to be in the past. But it's definitely a work in progress with the Three of Pentacles here. Look, Six of Cups. So I'm right. This could be someone you may already know or that you have a relationship with in the past. Um, it may not always mean that Six of Cups can also indicate a soulmate connection. So if this is somebody completely new, it could be a soulmate connection. If it's not, it's somebody returning, right? So we got the Queen of Pentacles. This person may be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah. If this is somebody you already know, this person is going to choose to stay with you, to choose to be with you, or that you're going to choose to stay with them. And that both of you are going to try and work things out because the devil here indicates something that is kind of uh, toxic or negative something that wasn't working out for the relationship maybe again it's due to somebody's insecurities uh or could be depression or anxiety insomnia all of that can definitely affect a relationship because i for sure <laughs> i was engaged to somebody in the past where uh, he had really serious depression issues and uh, i really couldn't take it eventually i just broke it off because it was also pulling me down and he was doing all kinds of crazy things that i was actually sometimes fearful for my life so i had to let him go but in any case um some of you i i really don't see it as an issue i feel like it's temporary but it needs somebody with the tower here to uh, be awakened and realize oh no i need to really you know work on myself and perhaps there will be a discussion with the both of you there'll be a discussion but i'm i'm seeing that this your next year's relationship it's not going to be an easy relationship to be honest but then uh, i think it's going to be well worth it because the ten of cups is here that means both of you will get married and will be happy being with each other long term it's long term number 10 right so this is your reading fire signs leo aries and sagittarius hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with a video on the screen right now this video is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel if you're interested check it out and also i'll leave you with a playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i have um posted for you guys and they're still new they're still valid because as you guys know i post your videos almost every single day so check it out there could be some other messages that you may have missed i believe it says bonus compilation compilation <laughs> check it out if you want to if not it's fine too and also i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below all right take care bye